So today we're going to do um, a second meditation on love, a um, little bit different to the last one, well, similar but different. Um, and so as always, we can begin by um, getting comfortable in our position um, on the chair or the cushion. Just making sure that the back is straight and shoulders relaxed and the neck relaxed, face relaxed. Letting go of any tension from the top of the head. face, neck, bring the awareness down to the shoulders, the upper body, letting go of any tension. And down to the chest, arms. Relaxing the back, the hips. The legs. And all the way down to the feet. Noticing the contact between the body and the cushion or the chair. And at this point, you can take a long breath in. And exhale. And again, another long breath in. And exhale any thoughts, worries, distractions. Letting go of anything that's keeping you from being fully present. And we can take a moment to develop our motivation. Remembering that we're taking out this precious time together to do something to improve our minds so that we can be of benefit to ourselves and also to others. our contribution to peace and happiness of our family, our world. So take a moment to develop your motivation and if you can, a bodhicitta motivation. And with the motivation, we can take refuge. You can do it in English today. So three times the refuge prayer. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merits I create through listening to the Dharma, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merits I create through listening to the Dharma, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. 
I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merits I create through listening to the Dharma, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. And so now with that motivation, we can take a few minutes. We'll do five minutes to do some breathing meditation just to develop our concentration. So choosing the object of meditation that is most convenient for you, which can be the air coming in and out of the nostrils or the rising and falling of the belly. Bring the attention, the awareness to the breath. And we'll have five minutes of stabilization meditation. And if the mind wanders off, just gently notice and bring it back to the object of meditation, the breath.
And so with a mind that is more calm and focused and relaxed, we can begin the meditation. And so when we meditate on love, we're trying to cultivate the, the wish for another person to be happy. So for the purposes of this meditation, try to think of a specific situation in which a person had a wish, a goal, an aspiration, something, something they really wished for. And it was easy for you to cultivate a sense of wishing them well, wanting them to be happy. It's like you were really on their team. And try to remember the situation, what they wanted. And try to bring into the present moment the feeling you, you had of wanting them to be happy. And think how wonderful it would be for this person to be happy. Feel how wonderful it would be for this person to be happy. Whatever happiness looks like for them. May they be happy. May good things happen for them. Whatever words or images mean most to you, just try to allow a sense of really wishing them well. And notice how it feels within yourself to wish happiness for them in this way. And now just like this person that you thought of, think how wonderful it would be if everyone in that situation with the same dream, 
same aspiration. How wonderful it would be for everyone like that to have their needs met, their dreams fulfilled. So try to extend that sense of well-wishing to the person you know, to others you don't know, but who are probably in the, the same situation. We wish happiness to them too. May they be happy. can imagine the energy of wishing them well extending out from the body, beyond the body, out to them. May they be happy, may they have good things, may they have every kind of happiness. we can extend this wish further, thinking of more kinds of people, things they need, things they hope for. May they have those things. May their hopes be realized. We can think of the things that we enjoy that bring us happiness. Good books, walks by the sea, sunshine, cups of tea, whatever it is. We can think, whatever I enjoy, may others have the same. May they be safe, happy, creative, joyful. So using your own words or examples, your own imagination, try to develop a sense of how wonderful it would be if everyone could have happiness of every kind in abundance.
We can wish them to meet causes of happiness, have opportunities to create merit, meet good teachers, be inspired, live lives of meaning and purpose. Develop the path in their continuum. May everything good be available to everyone. And so before concluding, so this, you know this, this is Shanti Deva's dedication and it's a dedication, but I think it's also an expression of, of love and wanting others to be happy. So we can also recite this together. May all beings everywhere plagued by sufferings of body and mind, obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtue of my merits. May no living creature suffer, commit evil or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighed down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored and finding repose. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food, may the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May the poor find wealth, those weak with sorrow find joy. May the forlorn find hope, constant happiness and prosperity. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all medicines be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all who are sick and ill quickly be freed from their ailments Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those bound be freed. May the powerless find power and may people think of benefiting each other. For as long as space remains, for as long as sentient beings remain, until then may I too remain to dispel the miseries of the world. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. We're not finished. <laughs> sorry. Okay. All right. And then we <laughs> continue in the dedication prayers. We can do these in English. So thinking because we've created so much positive energy together. And so we dedicate that positive energy. So due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. And Lama Zipram long life prayer. 
you who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Majinat's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayers honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. And for his holiness, a wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzing Yatsu, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And we have time for Osalhita. Okay. For Osel, venerable one, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land. We make this request, O oh Lama, please live long. And for Geshe Tupton Sherab, beloved teacher, leading your students towards wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. And to this, you can add your own dedications as well thinking of anyone who needs your positive energy and thinking especially of the people who have karmic connections with you and who have the karma to benefit from your prayers and your good wishes. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. And thank you for your patience with the technology. <laughs> Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Okay. Thank you.